me to know if you're gonna start any more shit around my baby girl. Relax for now. I'm not gonna murder you in front of your child, okay? It's a little more rational than Bill led me to believe you were capable of. Ah, it's mercy, compassion, and forgiveness I lack, not rationality. Look, I know I fucked you over. I fucked you over bad. I wish to God I hadn't, but I did. I can understand you wanting to get even. Oh, no, no. To get even? Even Steven? I'd have to kill you, go up to Nikki's room, kill her, then wait for your good husband, the Dr. Bell, to come home and kill him. Now that would be even Vernita. That'd be just about square. If I could go back in a machine, I would, but I can't. The only thing I can tell you is that I'm a different person now. All oh, right. I don't care. Be that as it may. I know I don't deserve your mercy or your forgiveness. However, I beseech you for both on behalf of my daughter. Bitch, you can stop right there. Just because. I don't wish to murder you in front of the eyes of your child does not mean that parading her around in front of me will inspire sympathy. <laughs> you and I have unfinished business, and not a goddamn thing you've done in the subsequent four years, including getting knocked up, is going to change that. <laughs> so when do we do this? It depends. When do you want to die? Tomorrow? Day after tomorrow? How about tonight, bitch? Splendid. Where? The baseball diamond where I teach Little League. We meet there at 2.30 in the morning, dressed in all black, your hair in a black stocking. We have us a night fight. We won't be bothered. Now, I need to go fix Nikki's cereal. <sighs> Bill always said you were one of the best ladies he's ever seen with an edged weapon. Fuck you, bitch. I know he didn't certify that shit, so you can kiss my motherfucking ass, black mamba. <laughs> black mamba. I should have been motherfucking black mamba. <laughs>